Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 640. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the, uh, the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 640. And this trick here, we want to conditionally format rows based on this rank. This is a category. You could be a manager, senior three, senior and a half. And here are the thresholds. Here are all the categories possible in this list. These are employees. Each one's categorized. Here's a unique list, and here's the threshold. This is, in essence, a hurdle. You must get above this number here. So we can see, because Samuel um, categorized his partners, is 26, that's below this 40, whereas Liz, categorized as a manager, has a score of, or a rank of 80. And you can see the hurdle is 70, so there's no conditional formatting. Now, let's come over here. The deal is, when we do conditional formatting, we're going to highlight a range. Each one of these cells has to get a true-false formula. Now, there's built-in uh, options, but a built-in option won't cover this particular example. But conditional formatting always works. There's got to be something that triggers a true-false in every single cell. So we're interested in rows. So if this cell right here is below the hurdle, then the whole row needs to be highlighted. Now there's a couple things going on here. When we do our conditional formatting for true-false formula, the whole row is going to have to look at this cell, but compared to what? compared to something over here. Well, how are we going to get the thing over there? That is based on this category. So in essence, we'll have to do a lookup. We're going to have to say in our true-false formula, hey, is this 45 less than? And then we're going to have to say, hey, V lookup function. Look at this. Come over here. Grab that and bring it back to the formula here. Now I'm going to do this whole formula in the uh, conditional formatting uh, dialog box totally important when you do conditional formatting, the active cell, the light colored cell, you have to be aware of that because you have to build your formula, your true false formula from the point of view of that cell. All right. With that highlighted, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D. Alt-O-D. New rule. This one right here. In earlier versions, 2003, which uh, you have to go to the first uh, drop down and it says formula is. Now here's our um, location for making our formula right here. Now the first trick is if the formula is being built from the point of view of this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell all have to look at 26. So I'm going to click right there and we have to lock it. I'm going to hit the F4 key once and twice. That dollar sign in front of the column reference means when we formula here, when it goes boom, boom, it's locked on that cell, but when it goes down, then it will move to the next 45. Then we have to say, is that less than VLOOKUP? And say, similar to this, um, this whole row needs to look at this. So I'm going to click there and hit the F4 key. right? So uh, column reference lock, but not the row. That means when we go down here, it'll look at the next one. That's the VLOOKUP. That's the lookup value. Now, comma, we need to tell VLOOKUP where the table is. So I'm going to highlight this whole table right here. It's already got. Lo it's already locked. Now, notice when it finds here, it needs to jump over here. So we need to do comma two, and then finally comma zero because we're looking up a word that and the words are not sorted. Close parentheses. That is our formula right there. And then format. I'm going to go to, actually, I'm going to do a light colored font white, fill, whatever color you like. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And in, in earlier versions, 2003 and before, there was only two OKs to click. So now we can see automatically. And the beauty of this formula is that if um, this person, this is July to whatever point we are up to then. If all of a sudden this person jumped up to 80, you put an 80 here, and boom, the conditional formatting goes away. All right, we'll see you next trick.